What's up, everybody? It's Fight Week again. Finally, live this Saturday night from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas. The main event, the return of the GOAT, John Jones. He will be facing Cyril Gaon for the vacant heavyweight title. The co-main event, arguably the greatest female fighter of all time, Valentina Shevchenko, will be taking on Alexa Grazo. A couple of things I want to point out before we get started. The early prelims start at 5.30 on the East Coast. They are on ESPN Plus and UFC Fight Pass. The prelims start at 8 o'clock on the East Coast. They will be simulcast on ESPN and ESPN News. And the main card goes off at 10 o'clock on the East Coast, live on ESPN Pay-Per-View. A couple of fights you need. I could talk about 100 fights on this card, but a couple you need to know about. Bo Nickel versus Jamie Pickett. One of the most highly touted prospects in MMA makes his UFC debut, three-time NCAA Division I champ, and widely considered one of the most accomplished Penn State athletes of all time. Bo Nickel looks to take his first step to a UFC championship belt. He is facing a UFC vet and very well-rounded, experienced fighter in Jamie Pickett. Eight of Jamie's wins are by knockout. Jamie is by far the biggest test of Bo's career. When you think about it, this guy has 21 fights, Bo has three. He looks to end the hype train before it even gets started. Ladies and gentlemen, that is an absolute must-see fight. Another fight you might not know about. Jeff Neal versus Shavkat Rachmanov. It's number seven versus number nine. Neal is coming off a performance of the night and one of his best wins of his career against highly regarded Vicente Luque. Before that, he beat Ponzinibbio. Neil has some big power in both hands. He's very dangerous. Whenever he's striking, he is a durable guy that is incredibly hard to stop. Shavkat is one of the hottest guys in the division. Undefeated with a 100% finish rate, he is incredibly well-rounded and has yet to show any holes in his game. He's the guy that all the top 10 are worried about the most, outside of Chemayev, that is. If he can manage to win this fight, there is a new title contender coming out of this show. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the best cards ever this weekend. If you don't know, now you know.